Whew. Well, a little bent, but I think we can fix that. All right, so a video that I've been waiting to do for a while. Um, every time I come around to it, sometimes it comes up. We're gonna use the daily and compare exhaust. A stock muffler, a muffler delete, and then that Borla muffler. Always get people asking what a muffler delete sounds like, so I figure I'll throw that in there in between. Try to keep everything as, as close to the same setup as far as where I put the camera. Um, I'll be using the attachment with the microphone to help with that. Um, so we'll do like cold start, some revving, and then um, I'm going to do my best to strap the GoPro to the back of the bumper and go down the road with it. Some things to note is that car is completely stock, so it has a stock 200,000 mile catalytic converter, stock resonator. That will affect um, some of the sound. You know, if you guys are looking to do the same thing, you know, some people do resonator deletes, some people do cat deletes, some straight pipe, whatever. I'm not gonna get all of that. Uh, we're literally just messing with the mufflers, which is just gonna be basically axle back. So end goal will be, this is gonna end up on the daily and stay there. So I'll do what I got to, to mate that to the stock. Let's jump into stock sound clips now, and then we'll move to hacking some stuff up. In person, you can actually hear it. So, here we go. Camera probably caught a little bit of that. It's, you can hear it, but it's not like super noticeable, I guess. Yep, so that wraps stock. We're gonna head back now and chop this bad boy off. You know, you get all excited and into doing something, you forget to film. So, uh, yep. Measured where that one kind of lands and hacked her off. So I got it out of that mount. I'm trying to get out of this mount right now. Yeah, I just want to pop it out of that mount. And then we'll see what this thing sounds like. Hello. Now yes, this car is very rusty. Very, very rusty. Alright, let's pull this thing out.
a little peek into what uh, what else I got going on since I've been kind of putting the car stuff to the side, but uh, yeah, working on this room. Working on paint now, and then once the paint's done, we go get some carpet picked out, and yeah. So yeah, I dabble in other things besides cars. Let's back the silver car in and get our Borla installed. Borla. My calculations were actually pretty good. This had spots for the factory um, hangers. So I just slid that back in place to hold the muffler up. And where I measured the cut on the stock actually worked. You know, so I cut whoop, so far up measuring how much I had on that. And it actually slid right in. Now this is not ideal, but it'll do the job. So just a two and a quarter. As you can see, we're in good shape. Also with quite a bit of heat, I was able to get that bent back out. So it's pretty at least centered. Do a quick first start before I put this bad boy back on the ground. See, I like that. There you have it, the three, uh, the three setups at least. But we'll go back to the house and discuss a couple things. Back to a crowded garage. So let's talk about mufflers real quick. And what we're talking about is like old factory bolt-on kits. You know, my top one, my favorite is gonna be SLP. Uh, it's, I have one on this car. Um, I'm gonna say Borla is probably my next favorite. I know it's gonna be a little different since I only have the muffler and it also had a resonator that went along with it. Uh, after that, I'm gonna have to say probably Magnaflow. It's a little on the quiet side, but it still has uh, a little bit of a unique tone to it. Uh, beyond that, I mean, we had Pace Setter, which I believe is still available. Really not a fan of the sound of that. I think it's too quiet to be honest as well. Flowmaster, I don't know if there was actually ever a uh, full kit, but it was such a common muffler that people Put on the style of muffler you know the transverse where it's one in two out was also common with f bodies so you know did people just run off and just get a bunch of those probably but um i'll speak on it they have the volume there Flowmaster is notorious for being loud but they're also notorious for being echoey and that's see to me i just i don't i'm not really a fan of the whole echo that's basically what we got. Yeah, so hopefully that kind of gives you guys perspective as to the sound difference. Um, you can jump between different clips and see uh, the volume difference, the different tones and whatnot. If I get other mufflers in the future, um, I might try to you know, throw another one of these together maybe to kind of add on to this one. So that'll be a wrap for this one. I'm gonna start getting back into videos here. We've got some other big things coming up. So as always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Where's the door? Hehehe. <laughs>